Hey guys, it's Audrey, and today I'm doing a review on two of my favorite Pegasus besides Rainbow Dash and a few others, including Derpy. <laughs> but I'm going to be doing a review on the Funko Big Pony, Spitfire, and Fluttershy. Oh my gosh, I love Fluttershy. She's like one of my favorites out of the main six. If I had to choose one, I would choose Fluttershy because I love how she can talk to animals and they're her best friends. Um, but before we get on to the review, I want to give a few shouts to LPS Courtney XOXO. Josh Watkins, by the way, I'm sorry if I mess up on your name, 07 Bella, Bella Ray, and Kryshen Gariando. Thank you guys for supporting my channel by leaving such nice comments. You guys rule! Um, now, I want to really quick, before I actually get onto the review review, I want to really quick show you how big they are compared to the Funko Mini Blind Bags uh, ponies. So they're like twice the size. One, two. Yeah, about twice the size. And these ones are a little bit better in color and stuff. Um, and then next to the little blind bag figures. By the way, this is Spitfire from Series 7. And my Spitfire won't stand up. Now she will. So about four of these pretty much will be the same size as this. But it's the same with both Spitfire and Fluttershy. I'm gonna set these over here but we will start with their boxes which are awesome I totally totally love their illustrations this by this Spitfire looks a lot like the blind bag one do -do 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 -do. just an illustration and outlined in blue but it's really cool and this is Spitfire at the top and it has a rainbow but it's her colors instead and it says Funko! Look for more My Little Pony vinyl collectibles from Funko! Choking hazard. Wow, those are too big. That is the box. And then while we're talking about boxes, let's look at Fluttershy's as well. She looks really cute and looks really sad in that picture. And she doesn't have a mouth. And I like her rainbow. And she looks really cute in this too, but it only it it makes her look like she only has one wing as well. <laughs> but that doesn't matter that much. My little pony. The one, my little pony vinyl collectibles from Funko. Uh, but let's get on to the ponies, and we will start with Spitfire, which if any of you don't know, she is a girl. Which is one of the coolest Wonderbolts. She is actually the leader, I think, of the Wonderbolts team in My Little Pony. And she is awesome. She has the little lightning bolts on her hooves. And her lightning bolt cutie mark. And what's weird is that her ear and her uh, mouth, I think this is like painted or something. Um, and her wings are all yellow. But her skin is blue. And it looks like her tail's starting to fall out. Or not putting correctly because there's like a hole right there in the back of her it's weird right there it's like a hole it's really weird she has her cool goggles i like how she always keeps it up right there but her eyes um they look sleepy because that's her normal face at least in some of the cartoons that i've seen um where she has like um how how should i explain her expression she always has. Um, a doubtful expression, pretty much. She looks awesome. I love her flaming hair. It looks like she has flames on, as her hair. But they aren't really flames. But that is Spitfire. But let's get on to Fluttershy. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job on Fluttershy. Um, her hair's so smooth. Like, it's really smooth. Oh, that was loud. And she does have the long hair like Octavia, which I have done a review on the vinyl in Octavia uh, Funko Big um, Ponies. And I have done a review on Derpy and Dr. Hooves. So go check those out if you haven't already. And she has a cute cutie mark. I love her cutie mark.
But there's not that much to really describe about Fluttershy except that she's adorable and amazing. And I love these figures, even though they aren't super detailed. They're still really cool to have as collectibles. But I, I understand that they are vinyl collectibles and they're mostly made for displaying. But it would be pretty cool if their heads were articulated. Same with their legs. I think that would be pretty cool. Maybe for future ponies. But uh, that is pretty much it for this review on these two amazing Pegasi. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye!